All right, chances are if you've bought your first home, you're probably wondering how long you need to wait before you buy your second home. We're gonna talk all about it. Hey friends, Stephen Michael Miller here with Limitless TV. And if you are here, then you're ready to get after it, learn how to do real estate. And I've got some questions right now. A lot of these questions are coming in, by the way, and we are loving it. Please keep those comments and questions rolling in. But I've got one here from Vibhav Verma. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name. Uh, but you said, can you do a video on how much time one should wait for buying another property after buying the first property also? on how to fund multiple projects. That is a fantastic question. So let's just take the first one. How long should I wait before I buy my next property if I just bought a property? And here's the fun reality that most people don't know. Although we have credit and you know, oftentimes we don't believe that we can use our credit for more than just one property or one thing at a time, you can actually buy multiple properties at the same time. It just takes doing. I mean, you just have to get out there and say, hey, I'm gonna buy three properties right now or four properties right now. Go to the bank and make sure that you have all of the proper paperwork, all of the proper ratios in order so you can buy multiple properties at the same time. That being said, if you just bought a property, there is no necessary time lapse or, or time that has to be it has to go by before you buy your next property. You could potentially buy your next property right after you close on your first property. So don't wait, don't feel like you have to wait. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make is feeling like they have to wait for something or for permission to go out and buy their next property. So if you need that permission, here's the my permission card go out and buy your next property, or at least start that process and, and get talking to your next bank or your next lender to get that started, get that rolling forward for you. So a second part to that that you didn't really ask, but I'm gonna go into just in case this is what you were looking for, is if I've just bought one property and I had only enough down payment for one property, how long do I have to wait before I'm able to turn that money into more and then access it to go buy another property. Maybe that's what you meant, maybe not, but I'm gonna go into that here as well. So if you bought one property, let's just say that you bought it with some equity, right? You've got a decent equity position. And if you've got thirty or $40,000 in equity in that home, then you do need to wait a certain amount of time for that money to season, typically, before you then pull it out. Oftentimes, that looks like 12 months. Uh, most banks want you to wait a specific amount of time. But if you wait that time, if you wait that 12 months, then you can go in and access that equity that's in that home and use that to go fund new properties. So oftentimes, like, like I said, there's about a 12-month seasoning period for you to be able to wait to access that equity that's in that home, pull it out, and then, and then go buy a new property. And then the other question was, how do I fund multiple projects at the same time? And there's no maybe really good answer to this except for have more money, right? So if you don't have that yourself, then you need to know how to go out and find that money. And one of the best things that you can do to go out and find new money is number one, to understand what the potential ROI is gonna be. Now, I, I wanna encourage you here not to overinflate numbers, not to talk really big and pie in the sky type of stuff. Look at the project that you're looking at doing Run, run the actual data, try to get as much historical data as you possibly can, and then find out what would be the potential ROI of this investment based on historical data, based on what I know and what I've seen and what I've been able to gather. Put that information into a business plan, okay? Put that information into a really easy to read, uh, very simple business plan that talks about what the properties have done over time, what your plan is with those properties and what you believe those projected ROIs may be. And then get out there and look for partners. Uh, you wanna fund multiple deals and you don't have all the funds for it yourself. The only way that I know to do that is by going out and finding other partners, people that have the money, but maybe don't have the time, people that have the credit, but maybe don't have the time. But you're talking about funding specifically, so really we're talking about the money, right? The funding of that. If you can bring that to the table and you can show that, that you're willing, you've thought it out well, they can trust you, you've done your research and your homework, then you're gonna be a whole lot more likely to attract those individuals that have the funds but maybe no time to implement them themselves to be able to say, here you go, why don't you take that money, I'm, I'm interested in this project, it looks like it can produce X amount for me and we'll split it in a certain way however you determine and agree, agree upon based on the LLC that you put into place, right, your, your, your operating agreement. So hopefully that answers the questions, you know, how much time do I need? The, the reality is, depending on where you are and what you're talking about, 
you can either have no time needed or maybe you'll need to wait that 12 months to season to pull some of that equity out. And if you're wanting to do multiple deals, you can do as many deals at the same time as you want to, as long as you can find the proper funding. So get to work and uh, hopefully we can help you in the future. Okay, this is all about maximizing and increasing your game plan really speeding up the dial, turning it up. So if you haven't already bought your second home, get on it. What are you waiting for? Well, maybe before you go, comment below, hit subscribe, like the video. We love you guys.